Qtfish OS, the impressive Linux distribution. Hello, welcome to Edukaze channel for reviewing Linux OS. The Qtfish OS is a free and open source Linux operating system based on Debian. This OS is currently under development that features a new homegrown Qtfish desktop. The OS itself is based on Debian and Ubuntu as flavor. However, the primary selling point is the desktop built upon Quick, QML, and C++. The desktop is also still in a very early stage of development. Hence, you may not get all the features you expect from a desktop environment and its native applications. The current release. As of creating this video, Qtfish OS latest version is 0.6 beta. This release is powered by Linux kernel 5.10 and Debian 11 Bullseye. There are the new updates on this beta release. In settings, new options for proxy are added. Also, the sound and Bluetooth settings are available. The changes to the power management give you performance and power saving mode options. A default file manager is a homegrown tool in this OS. The file manager brings a drag and drop feature and option to show or hide files. The lock screen now shows media controls that show the music's details. The applications that are preloaded get their latest stable version. The preloaded GNOME applications are based on GNOME 3.38 series. You can download the ISO from the below link. Qtfish OS tries to place itself in a unique position in an already fragmented Linux distribution territory. It tries to look like eye candy with a resemblance to Mac OS to a great extent. That too, is an out-of-the-box experience. You do not need additional themes and tweaks to make it look like Mac OS. This OS uses the Calamares installer for installation. It is a stable installer, so there are no surprises there. The test installation went fine without any hiccups. Grub is well installed in a new system, and preserved in a dual boot system. Look and feel. It is trying to look like Mac OS. The top bar, bottom dock, and icons plus stock wallpapers. This is a modified version of SDDM. The login and lock screen is neat and clean. You have the date, time, user accounts and password list. The bottom dock is well designed. The icons are great. The application menu on the left brings up the application screen, much like Genome. However, there are no workspaces at the moment. The application menu is extensive, it has four rows of applications with a search bar at the top. The bottom dock doesn't go away when you open the application menu. The system tray and notification area are clean and super nice looking. The notification pop-ups have a well-defined section with rounded corners. There are preloaded input, volume controls, time, no date, and shortcuts for Wi-Fi, dark mode toggle options in the system tray. Applications and global menu. The team also brings native applications such as File Manager, which is good. However, we have like best File Manager already in the Linux ecosystem. Thunar, Dolphin, Nautilus, they are all mature and well developed. But another option is also welcome. In the Linux ecosystem if it serves the core philosophy of the OS itself. Perhaps the best feature of this OS is the built-in global menu. 
Right now, no Linux distribution provides it as out of the box. Unity Desktop has this feature with HUD. But then, don't get me started with Unity. We all love Unity Desktop, but there are debates and other things. That said, the global menu is well implemented by the preloaded applications such as File Manager, Get It, Terminal, and GNOME Photo Viewer. They look nice. But, some apps like LibreOffice don't fit well in terms of look and with no global menu integration. However, the rounded corners look nice for all applications. Although I feel a setting for these minor changes should be included. In settings panel in the future. As this is still under development, there is no single stable release yet. We can hope all applications can integrate well with this new desktop. The performance. Performance-wise, it is decent. It uses the SDDM Display Manager and KWIN Window Manager. I have it installed in Vert Manager and ran it for 10 plus hours. It is clocking around approximately 950 megabytes of RAM, and the CPU is hovering 1% to 2% at idle state. However, it may increase based on your workload. Responsiveness, I felt a minor lag while opening up the application list. Minimizing, and maximizing. Maybe nothing, but worth noting. Things to miss in Cutefish OS if you are a long-time Linux user. If you compare this to the well-developed and matured desktops. Many things are missing in this desktop. We take many of them as granted in KDE or Genome are not available yet. I hope the most used features get implemented in future for it. To become an excellent alternative to KDE and GNOME Desktop. What do you think about this distribution and Qfish Desktop? Will it be a popular desktop like GNOME or KDE Plasma? Let me know in the comment box below.